What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're going to go over the weekly tactic update. This is going to be the final one um, for the 4-3-2-1 as well with some changes. We had some new formations in. Um, we're getting close now to the team of the season. Uh, so I'll actually I'll explain that towards the end of the video because I know you want me to get straight into it. Um, for the balance tactic, by the way, people always ask me this question. Um, this is the on this is one of my accounts, for example. Um, for the best possible chemistry, I'm using a 4-2-4, and inside the game, I then change the tactics. But for my balance tactic, I leave everything on pretty neutral. I've got slow build-up play. This should be 45. I don't know actually why this is 52. This is probably a mistake. This is normally like 44, because um, when you put above 45 depth, you apply pressure, slow build-up play, balance. Now, I don't actually use this formation inside the game. And just to show you how I would do it, I've reset these for you. Um, but everyone will be on comeback and offense. And the idea behind this is that if my opponent kicks off first, this is my anti-kickoff tactic. So this is the way that I avoid the kickoff goal. Um, I just, because when you switch to a tactic inside the game, it takes some time, like normally like a couple of minutes or wait for the ball to go out of play before the formation changes. So I don't actually use the balance tactic and then I use one of the four tactics. So this is only if in the event, uh, my opponent kicks off first. I change formation. I might not go to the 4-2-3-1 straight away because it takes time. 4-3-2-1, should I say. It takes time for the game to change. So that's why I use this one. Um, for the 5-2-2-1, uh, two, two, we've actually kept it. A lot of people have been using this the wrong way, though. Um, this formation, as I mentioned last week, I'm just going to go over this again briefly. This can be very defensive or very attacking. In fact, I'll tell you a little bit of a secret. I'm actually spending more time playing this formation because you can activate the deep pad tactics attacking fullbacks override both of these fullbacks and send them going forward and that's what i've been doing to create a lot more tech opportunities in this system and i very much like it so we're going to keep it as it is um but don't forget to deep our tactics here so it's balance 39 45 uh, 44 not 45 long ball direct passing width um as i said you can always put this on balanced especially if you're trying to close out the game you can even lean towards slow build up play um i'm gonna just gonna let you go i'm just gonna go through these stay central for the, the striker both the cams come back in the fence, get into the box for cross. Both CDMs cut passing lanes, step out of taking cover center. Goalkeepers on balanced and left back and right backs on stay back and overlap. But of course, I send them forward with the D-pad tactics. And because this formation has two CDMs, although it is the five back per se, it can be also very attacking, but also very defensive. Very similar to like the 5-2-1-2, two, two, but just like a different attack layout. Instead of that central cam, you have the wider players. So a lot of you guys are liking it. A very underrated formation. Um, but we leave this in a defense slot. This is, can be basically either attacking or it could be defending. It could be ultra attacking um, if you really want it to be. Or it could be ultra defend, ultra defensive if you leave the full backs on stay back. Um, then we keep the 4-3-2-1. Now this is, as I said to you, there's, there's two different styles. I mentioned two weeks ago we put one on the left backs on get forward. And the other right back on get forward on the attacking tactic. Um, we've just gone with this one. So this formation here, the 4-3-2-1. Um, this is the kind of the conservative approach with one of the four backs joining the attack. Okay, so we've got balance 39, a bit higher depth. Remember, above 45, the game's gonna allow you to stop pressing. You're not too far wide apart where you're gonna get destroyed in the middle, especially with those driven passes. Balanced, direct passing, 50 width, and four players inside the box. You can always increase this actually. Um, if you do prefer more players inside the box, it's completely up to you. Same with corners and free kicks. Unless I say otherwise, most of these you can basically flip these around. But the rest you can't. It's only the players in the box, corners and free kicks. Um, so left striker, stay forward, stay central. Central striker, stay central. The only thing I've done this week, because I know people have been complaining last week. Oh yeah, look, no, they're not moving around as much. Again, this purely relies on L1 triggers. You have to use it. Even though you have, um, I said to you, you can use long ball to push those players going forward. If you haven't got a long ball, just use the L1 triggers, guys. Um, stay central, um, stay forward for all these players here. Stay central, stay forward, get in behind. And all three center mids on stay back while attacking. So this is actually a very good attacking formation. The right back's on stay back and overlap. Left back is on join the attack and overlap. And the goalkeeper is on sweeper keeper. So this one is very similar to this one. Except for this one, you have three center mids. It's very good for defending the middle area of the pitch. But also being very attacking by having the three front players. So you can argue maybe more of a counter-attack formation. When you get the ball going forward, you can have your left back join the attack to provide more attacking support. And you can always do a 1-2 or trigger a player to kind of replicate the normal defending in a 4-4-2 attacking in that 4-3-2-1 with one of the fullbacks overlapping. So to replicate that, that could be done very, very easily. 
Um, then we're going to go over to the 431. Now, this is the real attacking system. We've got balanced 45 width, 70 depth, just below 71, so you don't trigger that ultra offside territory where you're being very, very aggressive. I've gone with long ball, um, direct passing 45. To be honest, um, I'm using long ball. If you find this to be too attacking, you can put this on balance. There's two reasons why I use long ball. I'll explain that in a second. Um, four players inside the box and corners and free kicks on two. Now, the reason why I prefer long ball is that if you've got the left back and right back, without long ball, they just take time to go forward. Now, I'm a very quick attacker. When I get the ball back, I try to counter my opponent. Most of them I'm always attacking. But let's say in the event I do lose the ball and there's a turn of play and I win the ball back, I want to be quick as possible. I want to be as fast as possible. So long ball just pushes that left back and right back going forward. Um, this time we got the right back on joining the attack. Remember I said to you last week how if your opponent knows you're using your left back or the left back to go forward, he might he or she might try sussing you out and might put two players or might put their ram on comeback and defense if they're playing a 4-3-2-1 against you. We've got the opposite side on joining the attack and that way you can make it more attacking. There's one thing we don't have to make it more attacking. I'll explain this in a second actually. Um, so we've got stay back here. Sorry, stay back, left back, overlap, goalkeeper, super keeper, and right back, we've got balanced overlap. Then this one defends in the 4-4-2. So don't forget, the other one we had three centre mids on stay back while attacking. This one, both the right centre mid and the centre mid on stay back cover centre. Left centre mid on get forward cover wing. Don't forget cover wing just makes them come back. So if the senior will play left mid when he's defending. And Rodrigo's on come back in defence, stay central, get it behind. So he'll play right mid when you are in defending in a 4-4-2. And then Correa, the two strikers on stay forward, stay central, get it behind. And they would make... The 4-4-2, the two strikers. Now, remember I said to you how progressive we're going to change it. So this is the way we've done it now, okay? So you have the 5 2, two one. This would be the regular system, as I mentioned to you. can be very attacking, ultra attacking, or ultra defensive. Quite similar to the 5 2, one, two. Then we have the kind of the, the neutral 4 3 two, one. This is a bit more defense heavy with three center mids on step attack, and you can always trigger them forward if you want to, and only one fullback on joining the attack, okay? Then you go over to the 4 3 two, one attacking system, and you have this exact tactics, and you have this defense in the 4 4 2, very good for applying pressure, but then you got one of the fullbacks on joining the attack. Now, to make this even more attacking, remember I said to you, you can make this even more attacking. The way you can do that basically is just activate the D-pad tactics. So remember how I explained you can have a formation with both the fullbacks joining the attack. What you can do is you can just do it in this one. So I just, I, can't, I, I, I almost forgot about it to be honest, but I was just thinking why not save a slot and have it. So like what you can do is, so if you use this formation by default, the right back will go forward, right? But if you activate the D-pad tactics, um, attacking fullbacks, then both the left back and right back will go more attacking. So technically, you actually have five systems here because you'll have the ultra defensive, you have the defensive, and then you have the attacking with one with both fullbacks, one with, with two, one with one fullback, let's say one fullback, and then one with two fullbacks joining the attacking. So actually, technically, you have five systems here because you can change this on the fly and you can even activate team press to, hang, to improve the defensive style as well. So you can make this more attacking. So it's kind of like two in one. Um, but if you, don't, if you have no idea what the hell I was talking about just then, don't worry, just copy the tactics as it is. It's completely fine. It's more for the advanced users, the deep out tactics and the elite rank one player, etc., etc. For the possession loss to 55 71, we put the 4 4 2 back into the slot. I think 4 4 2 is still one of the best formations inside the game for pressing the ball. And to be honest, maybe the only downside I think a lot of people are also complaining is that when you play a 4 3 2 1, it takes time for Cecilia to go left mid, it takes time for Rodrigo to go right mid. And when you want to press the ball, you want to press the ball right away. So then naturally, def naturally attacking and defending in a 4 4 2 is the best option. Um, this is what you can copy. To make this even more aggro, you can use constant pressure. Constant pressure is only really meant to be used if you're losing 2-3-0 and you're going gung-ho. This would be the gung-ho type tactic. Um, we've got the left wing and the right wing, both from comeback and defense getting behind. Very important comeback and defense because when you're pressing the ball, all the players need to be behind the ball to press the ball in the unit. If you have two players on stay four, you're only going to have four players in the, in the middle and you're going to get outnumbered by your opponent. And you can remember, you have to press as a unit. You can't press with just one player. One player runs, everyone's got to run behind the ball to apply pressure together. We've got both the strikers on stay central, get it behind, stay forward. Center mids, get forward and cover center for both of them. So they're going to provide the attacking support. Left back, right back on, stay back and overlap. And goalkeeper, if you want to, you can use super keeper. I personally do not because when I have 
an ultra attacking system i just have like, a bit more control if i want to if i want to be aggressive i can always bring out the goalkeeper with a triangle but sometimes i prefer to be a bit more passive anyway guys hope you enjoyed this video this will be the last system that we'll do with the 4-3-2-1 team is just around the corner as i was explaining earlier on in the video so this will be the last setup we need to go more towards like real meta top tier best of the best especially towards, towards premier league and best of tots for the best record so you might have a few types to try have some fun during that period but apart from that we're pretty much coming to a close on a fourth just a pure four three two one setup but i think this is a very good setup anyway guys thanks for watching take it easy don't forget if you want to get better at fc come to my patreon so it's patreon.com forward slash no guides don't forget if you don't get better after one month we'll refund you minus a no guides guarantee whenever precision shooting um and some other advanced defending features including pressing as well links down below in the description thanks for watching take it easy and of course i'll catch you next time peace out guys